The Pan-African Consciousness Renaissance Group, in conjunction with other pressure groups, on Friday embarked on a protest in Ikoi to condemn the modern-day enslavement of Africans in Libya. TVC News covered the protest. Pictures surfacing online depicting the brutality of Africans in Libya and the video confirming the modern-day enslavement of same has elicited public outrage in recent times. This has spurred the Pan-African Consciousness Renaissance and others into action. It's a small crowd but with a message that cannot be ignored. What the Pan-African Consciousness Renaissance group is saying that youths should be aware of what is happening. Neither the UN nor ECOWAS officials sent any representative to address the protesters, but they were undeterred as their leaders, one by one, addressed the group. They attributed the mass exodus of African youths to Europe to bad leadership at home. Today we are seeing people being auctioned for $400 in Libya. It's cheaper in Oman. $250 in Oman. We all know the minimum wage in this country. And we all know that outside the minimum wage, you know, overwhelming majority are on 10000 or less per month. Now, these are the conditions that are forcing our people into slavery, forcing our people to take deadly trips. Even here in Nigeria, our leaders treat us worse than slaves. The Lebanese companies, the Chinese companies, all of companies that are around there, go and look at the factories. The way Nigerian youths are being forced under, to work under inhumane conditions. Both the Arabs and the Europeans are both complicit in the trade of African uh, uh, bodies. But then you also have a third party. You have the third party being these neo-colonial, slavish African leaders. These African governments that we have had from the 60s up to today, who are traitors, who do not do anything for us as Africans. You know, they don't protect us. And as they drew awareness to the despicable sale of Africans in Libya, some entertainers who happened on the protest walk joined in to identify with the group. We must sanction Libya. I think Libya should be temporarily suspended from the African Union. We have to send strong signals. The people are willingly going to the human traffickers, not like the human traffickers are forcing them. African Union you know, cannot talk to the people in Libya now because they are guilty of what is happening in Libya. ECOWAS, they, know, they, they are all African heads. This ECOWAS is just a part of the, uh, of, of the African community. They are all guilty of what is happening in Libya. Perhaps the most resounding message from these Nigerian protesters is that the leadership deficit at home, causing the average man to live below the poverty line, is worse than the inhumanity of the Libyan auctioneers. But who's listening? Bukola Samuel Wemimo, TVC News. Now, members of the House of Representatives have condemned the increasing cases of public auctioning of black Africans in Libya. The Senate has begun the investigation of the alleged seal of illegal African migrants, mostly Nigerians, as slaves in Libya, which it described as a slap on the face of Nigeria. African affairs analyst Ademola Oshuri joins us now via Skype to share his thoughts on this uh, terrible development. Thank you very much indeed for joining us this time. Thank you very much. Well, as you, as, you, as you and I know, the House of members of the House of Representatives have, have begun investigation into this uh, you know, terrible uh, thing that is going on in Libya. Do you think that uh, the investigation will yield any uh, fruitful outcome that could be taken to the bank? Well, anything that, um, any action, anything that can be done to, to, to halt this, to stop to reverse this, I think is helpful. So if they are doing an investigation, if they are actually repatriating Nigerians from Libya, anything that can be done to stop this illicit trade, this grave abuse of human rights, I think it's done. So I applaud them for that. All right. Nigerian government, what sort of action do you think that it needs to take to send a very strong you know, message you know, to um, the, the Libyan government? Well, this is it. Uh, the Libyan government is not really a government. I think that's what people are confusing it. Uh, it's almost a failed state. It is a failed state after the four decades of uh, the rule of Muammar Gaddafi. 
Uh, there's basically almost like two governments in uh, Libya. There's one in uh, Tripoli, there's one in Tobruk. Though, in the recent times, they've tried to come together, unite, to uh, form one, um, you know, uh, legitimate government. It's still a very fractious and very unstable system there. So there's not real one government. It's There may be a symbolic person as a act as a president or a prime minister, but he doesn't have real power. There's a lot of uh, fractious uh, militant groups controlling many parts of Libya. So we don't have a real bona fide uh, government in Libya to really deal with. It is like a, it's almost like a, uh, uh, a good version of a Somalia, so to speak, uh, a good version of some other failed states um, around 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 the world. So yes, um, we can only do our best to try and reach out to whoever is on ground there in that in that area, uh, whoever is seen as a legitimate, recognized uh, person in power, and even the uh, the power groups, the the, the powerful uh, militant militia groups that control certain areas where. African uh, slaves or African immigrants are uh, being held. All right. Um, during the African Union and European Union in a summit, um, there, there were conclusions that there might have to be, you know, boots on ground, you know, to help to uh, you know, curb this unfortunate incident happening in Libya. Do, do you do you agree? Well, it's um, that's a little more complicated than that. I, I I don't know how you can get send good uh, boots to ground in Libya. Um, it's it's a very very volatile place. Um, it's we have traces of ISIL, Islamic states there. There are all the Islamic groups there. There's uh, there's strong pro Gaddafi groups that are very angry with the West and other countries for allowing Gaddafi to be uh, to be killed and remo or removed from power basically. So. It's not that straightforward. I, I'm sure they will not. The, the, the powerful groups in Libya will not accept um, troops on the ground there, boots on the ground. Uh, what we can possibly do is just support the uh, the militant groups and ensuring that uh, they they make sure that they they they, 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 they follow human rights um, accord, human rights conventions, and you know basically allow these Africans to to go back to their country. And I think the All Europeans right. are actually looking into that. There's an evacuation plan in place, which was discussed in Ivory Coast a few days ago, and getting these Africans back home. Um, I don't think boots on the ground will be possible. I don't think it's it is also viable. All right, uh, very 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 quickly, uh, there are I mean um, uh, some schools of thought you know saying that Libya you know, ought to be sanctioned, you know to send a strong message you know across. Uh, are you on the same page? Sanctions in what way? It's it's a, it's like a failed state. It's like a failed state. Who are you going to sanction? Uh, the, the, the borders are very porous. The, uh, the 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 people there are, you know, in a, in a very militant and aggressive state. There's the over almost between 400 to 1 million Africans trying to make their way to the, to Europe through there. So I I really don't um, see where we can sanction their trade in oil, in, in petroleum, crude oil is just picking up. It's it's you know it's almost getting back to pre gaddafi state. So. They need the funds. They need money to stabilize their country. If not, you have more issues of, uh, you know, of militancy and Islamic State um, um, remnants right. there. So it's important that uh, we look at the issues around the Libyan situation properly okay. and handle it from that point of view. Uh, all right. Uh, African Affairs Analyst Ademola Oshodi, thank you very much indeed for sharing your thoughts with us on this development.